you can click on things, uh, like headings. You can click on things, make changes, change bold or italic. Um, that there are things that you can do within MobiRise um, that don't require you to get into the code. So once I make changes in the code, is someone going to be able to take this who's just a business owner or um, a nonprofit organization or whatever they are? And are they going to be able to take what I've made and make changes to it? Uh, maybe not structural changes like changing this all around, but certainly, you know, they'll be able to drag and drop it to different places. Uh, but internally, will they able, be able to change this content right here? So can they add different styles to it? Will they, they be able to create links from it? So that's one of the uh, that's one of the things that I've thought about, um, and I just kind of always have considered MobiRise to be really good for you know putting together something quick. It's pre-made. There's not a lot of uh, Behance type of work that you can do to it to customize it or make it your own, but when I was playing around today, I found out differently. So let me show you what I found. Uh, so a lot of this theme that I've been working on, you know, this is all like custom stuff. Uh, some of these, not this page, but uh, here you can see I've got in and changed some things. Excuse me. And a couple of these I've written like this. I've written completely uh, by hand, so this was just a text block, an HTML text block that I wrote from scratch. You can see it when you look inside. So you can see I started up here and I've added some of their containers uh, classes just so it would look right and give it some padding. But, you know, starting from here, I've essentially just written um, bootstrap HTML with some bootstrap. Uh, classes or classes that I've had, but also some bootstrap classes that are within the bootstrap framework. I've used their icons and things like that. So um, this is all custom done uh, within this block. Now, one of the things, this is the part that I always thought was challenging was if I if someone wanted to come in and and change these, let's say I was doing a specific website and I did four of these, but let's say one of these things changes and someone wants to make changes. They're going to have to know some HTML. They have to be able to come in here to the right media heading. So I'm going to have to really label up this uh, HTML a lot so that they'll be able to uh, read the comments and say this is the top left, uh, column left, this is bottom left, column one whatever I'm going to do and however I'm going to say it. And then they're going to have to go through this and make the change, you know. They have to make a change here. They're going to have to, you know, maybe even see. And so we can see the change. <clears throat> but for someone who doesn't know anything about HTML, are they going to know where to look even though it's color coded? It's going to be a very difficult process for them. Now what if what if in my custom code I was able to do exactly what I can in these non-custom blocks like this one is just a block that I put together where you click on this and I can make changes here I can make changes to the colors that type of thing so what if I could do that inside of my inside of my custom code that's what I was thinking before, let's see, it's going to get back. We'll get back to the color. That one. All right, so what if I could do this with my completely customized code? What if my image, when I click it, I could go through the MobiRise uh, image chooser or browser, system browser? and choose a different image to be able to place into this box. So those are the kinds of things that I was thinking. And I was down here, 
Because what I wanted to do was I had a list here and I wanted to be able to make changes here. I have an extra bit of text here as well. And so I started looking through. I, st I think I looked at this one. Um, I don't know. I looked at one of these uh, pieces of content. So this is all completely done through MobiRise. And when I go in here, and I see this, what I see is, um, like for unlimited options, so that would be the, the header, the first header part. I see that it's MBR header text, and then I see this MBR dash editable dash content. And so I started thinking and looking through, and I keep seeing MBR dash editable in the spaces where I would expect to find editable content. So I started thinking, well, maybe that, maybe that particular uh, start phrase, prefix, MBR dash editable, means something. So I took this MBR editable content, I copied it, and then what I did was I came down into my space here. Now this part, I didn't make any changes to. Um, I've only made, this is all code that I built right here. So if you go in, you can see my code. This was what was originally here. And then my code starts right here. And then goes all the way down to the end. So I've just created a, a grid um, that's going to shrink down to, so at medium and up screens it's going to be uh, 4 across so 4 times 3 is 12 and then for small screens to medium screens it's going to be uh, 2 columns and then on extra small screens so on phones it's going to be um, you know each of these is going to be on its own line it'll just be 1 across all the way down so that's what I built and I started to think well I want to change this so how can I change this? And so I just put in under the P uh, class, I just put in BR editable content. I said, okay, let's check it out. And lo and behold, whenever I add that editable content, it actually makes my custom text behave and act like their default text. So. Whether they intended for this to happen at MobiRise or not, I think that as a web developer, I can now create a custom block, and then I can attach those classes back to my custom code, and then now people are able to come in if they want to change uh, the way that the text presents, if they want to change the color. They can change the color, and they can change the font. They can add a link, I believe. Let's see, so I can add a link um, to a different part. Maybe it doesn't work. Let's see, I had to figure out some of the bugs and things. Okay, maybe the links don't work. Um, but they can go through and make changes, at least superficial changes. Text right, text left, etc. And change the colors. And they can do all of this on my custom text, uh, which I think is, is pretty phenomenal. So the one thing that I had a real concern about has turned out to not be much of a concern at all. And so what I found out is that the text has its own particular classes. So I've actually made this text here um, editable too. <clears throat> and um, inside the HTML, sorry, oh, now it's all not clickable. Inside the HTML, that's here, so it's H3. I've actually created my own uh, class for that, so I actually have my own styling that I gave that it's down here. So I've actually I've written the code. I've attached my own CSS, and then just by adding this part here that says um, MBR editable content, I'm actually able to present 
my text with my styling, but format wise and being able to change some of these uh, basic um, attributes, I guess, of this particular text, I'm able to create something that I can hand off to a client. And if they want to make a change to this, or if I wanted to make this a full template, where someone could then come in and change and add their own text or add their own icons or whatever they want to add, then they would actually be able to do that um, inside of MobiRise and not have to take it to a developer, not have to be a developer, but be able to go through and uh, to make those changes just like they normally would. Now this is a, this is an entirely built block of text or a, a call to action block. I have built this. This is not from MobiRise. So I'll show you the code. So it's a pretty basic section. Um, that's just a call to action. Uh, there is a, a fluid container. I have a row. I have two columns. So I have one column for the text, and that's this div here. And then I have one column that holds the button to the right. And all I've done is uh, I've added the MBR editable content to each of the pieces of text, so to the P tag and the H4 tag. And now, in this totally custom thing, I can, I can go through and make changes, just like I normally would. So I can make that bold just by doing that. Um, if you wanted to change the, the text, you could do that. So this acts just like, <clears throat> um, let's see if I can find it. It acts just like these pieces of content here, except I've actually uh, done something where I've created more control because I've actually built this myself and I'm able to now insert it wherever I want to and however I want to and whatever, whatever specs I want to, to add to it. And so, um, there's a lot more customization that's available here. And not only in the text, but also figured out how to do it in the button. So if you look in the code, you can see here that there's one called, uh, so this is button, this is a large button, button large. And then MBR editable button, when you attach that to an A class, and I tried it with a button class and it doesn't work. So, I mean, uh, a button tag, HTML tag. So when I add that to an A, which is a link uh, tag within HTML, and I enclose it in an A, then I can put this MBR editable button. It has a class of buttons. So this, um, this link has a button class, has a button large class, and then it has this editable button class. Now button info is on there because I've actually changed it. So if you click on this, now you have all the options that you would normally have for a button. But this is all built inside of my um, HTML and CSS. So I can get rid of one uh, if I want to. I can add others. Let's see, maybe I can. Maybe I can't. Yeah, I suppose there's not enough, uh, not enough going on there. I'd have to do a little bit more to be able to do some of these. Um, let's see. That one's different. I'll move it to the left. Okay, so I can move them back and forth uh, to the left and to the right. I can change the colors so that now this one is a little bit different. It's a ghosted button. I could change it to green. So I could have two different buttons like this. But just some interesting things to play with. I'm on the very front end of this. I just figured this out about 30 minutes ago. And so it's going to take a little bit of time in order to kind of, um, what we're doing is we're taking the full MobiRise code. I'm breaking it all apart. I'm reconfiguring it or writing my own code. And then I'm trying to put it all back together in the same casing and then be able to deliver it to a client. So I've created a, a customized version of what I can do, the blocks in MobiRise, except with that customized version, 
I'm able to still give it to a client and the client can go through and they can change the names on the button. Uh, they can change colors on the button. They can do all types of things. You know, if they needed some kind of submit here or whatever they needed, um, they could do that. And you can see how this can be really powerful where you're using some of the casings or the blocks from MobiRise. You're adding your own uh, content in it, and then you're also able to still uh, utilize some of the uh, some of the options within MobiRise uh, to be able to to change those things. So, uh, just something to play with, something to think about, because I've gone through and done quite a bit of uh, custom work here, and there's a lot more to be done that I'd like to do like this. But I thought this was a uh, a pretty cool find. Maybe the guys at MobiRise already knew that. Um, there's a couple of other things that I'd like to be able to do personally as a developer uh, before I start using this for a, um, a production purpose. But I love the flexibility of MobiRise. It's built on a flexible platform. It gives you real code to work with. And now I'm able to take it apart, put in what I want, and then put it all back together again so that a client can still utilize the strong parts of it, which is the drag and drop. Those kinds of things are not affected uh, with each block. So, uh, and also, you know, just being able to click on something. Let's see. I can give you the, uh, this is the live demonstration. So, MBR editable content so this is going to be this heading here we set it here and now I'm able to go through and make edits to that piece of content but I've made all the alignments and everything myself so when I put this in <clears throat> all I have to do is you know different heading and so now I've actually created a space for someone to be able to go in and plug in their own information in here as opposed to just me putting it together, handing it to them and saying, when you want to change, you need to call me and that's going to be 75 bucks. So uh, this actually gives the client more options, more opportunities to, um, to be able to do what they originally wanted to do, which is to keep their own website and to be able to maintain it. So. Uh, this is a big coup for me, and I hope that it's something that you've learned uh, that will be good for you. Uh, if you have any questions about it, you can contact the, the team at MobiRise. I'm sure they'd love to answer your questions, and they can answer them a lot better than me. Uh, if you have any questions about my experience or what I'm showing you here on the video, you can email me at brian, B-R-I-A-N, at highwaywebconsulting.com.